Hello, I'm Helen Knight with Dreamtime Healings, and I am a medicine woman, W-O-M-B-A-N, and a healer, and I am with my fabulous co-creator facilitator, who's also an amazing medicine woman. Hi, yeah, I'm Julie Wood, and today we want to speak with you about using your voice as a woman. And how that is completely tied with your womb. So many people out there, so many women are disconnected from their womb because of the patriarchal programming. There's a lot of shame, judgment. Who cares about the, the womb? Some women have had hysterectomies, so they think they don't even have a womb. You have one energetically. Some women have had babies and they're like, okay, the womb served its purpose. I don't really need to think about it. And some women like ourselves were in menopause and okay, it's done. What, you know, it's just a, a body part. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a, an amazing portal. And we are all about helping women tap into that portal. And today it's about how that ties in with our voice. Yes. And this is a topic that's near and dear to my heart. I see it in my own life and with my clients. I know Helen does too. It's just, it's part of that good girl programming. So it's that programming that says we should play small, which means mm, suppressing our emotions, suppressing our needs, not setting really clear boundaries. And what happens is actually inside our body, like if our throat isn't open, if our throat isn't expressing our truth, then our womb space starts to mm, kind of close up too. Yeah, absolutely. And I saw this over and on, and I still see it. Oh, this is years. I've been a healer for about 15 years now. And I remember I just started noticing in the intake forms when I would get a new client, how many women would come in and be on thyroid medications. And no men were ever coming in on th with thyroid medication. I was like, wow, why, why is that? That's really weird. And so it was something I observed. And then I got diagnosed with hypothyroidism. And I thought, oh, there's something here. Your fifth chakra is your ability to speak your truth. Thyroid is right there. So thyroid issues is often tied in with not speaking your truth not tapping in and sharing your desires, your needs, your wants. And it's time to change that. And here's a like a technique you can use to support you in this. So you can use the phrase, I would love it if you would, right? So when you're making a request, Instead of saying, I need you to, or like making it about the other person, make it about yourself and what you would really love, because who doesn't want to give you what you love? So for example, you can say to your partner, I would love it if you would be my sous chef and cook with me. This is one I actually used. And then you can give them a benefit if you want to keep going. Like, I would love it if you would cook with me so that we can eat earlier and it would feel really fun. And it would be really connecting for the two of us. So give them like a, a benefit. Yeah. And as you start doing this, this is a process, right? Speaking our truth. I've been working with this for quite a few years. And the little gift we're going to give later on with light language is definitely has been a part of that journey. Um, when I was in a plant medicine ceremony, this light language that I'm in a channel uh, came through and it's right here, that fifth chakra. And it brings through beautiful, beautiful uh, healing and activations and helps release through the, um, the sound healing. And Julie also brings through a type of light language. Hers is very different, you'll see. Julie, do you want to share how yours came through? Yeah, it's interesting. When I was in medicine ceremony, I kept being told, um, sing, Julie, sing. And I just, I couldn't do it. 
But finally, I was in a safe space and a retreat space where it just started bursting through me. And, you know, what I understand with light language is it really helps me and it helps those in the space to be in a higher vibration, right? So, um, yeah. So we just invite you when you're listening to the light language, don't try to understand any words or any meaning because that's not what it's about. It's all vibrational. Yeah. And so we're going to go, we're going to go into that now. And there's an invitation. If you're in a place where you can close your eyes, sit down, put your hand on your womb. And if it feels comfortable, you lie down, put your hand on your fifth chakra and, and just say that intention that I speak my truth. And I tap into my desires, those desires, those wants, those needs lie in that womb space that we have so many of us are disconnected. So this light language is going to help you start connecting your fifth chakra with your second chakra, which is where your womb is just below your belly button. Okay. So invite you to just get comfortable. And I'm going to bring in some, I, I bring in some shamanic drumming as well. And just notice what you notice. You might have, you might not feel anything, but you also might have some emotions. You might have uh, a vision. Um, you might want to make a sound. You might want to move. All of it is perfect. There's no right or wrong, right? Okay. So I'll bring in my drum. Una <laughs> Nekt aya hana, u lekt aya shitena ye, humakt aya, u luktu ununukt u shutulehena, ma nahaye ekt aya he. 
Ukt unu hunkt u shutu lehena ye makt aye hena. Hulkt aya. Hu shutu hu ye ma ye hene ya hayakt aye hena. Lulukt umahana ye nekt aye shtena ye mana. Lulukt une hena ye mana ha. U ye ma ye hena ye mkt u shutu lehena. Nekt una hana umana ukt une hena ye. Nekt u shutu lehema. Nulekt aye hena. Yekt u shutu lehema. Aya Hanak to Aya Hestena yet mana. Lect Unu yet manak, yet Aya yet, I she tena ye henak to Aya. Luluk to Aina manak to Aya manak to Aya hena ye and I yet mana. Uk to Ushu to le hena ye mana, and I yet and I a hena yet mak to I she teana. Lect U looked Unu no 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 Thank you, Julie. And you might have seen, and some of you, if your eyes were open, I had a lot of movement. And as I said, that's what we encourage all of you. If there's any movement or sound or breath that wants to come through, um, do it. All right? There's, it, it, it's moving. Uh, my whole body is vibrating with that light language, both our light languages. Really beautiful. So drink some water. It's a, it's a, it's a sound healing and uh, continue to tap in to your fifth chakra and your womb as you continue to open up this door to speaking your beautiful truth because your voice matters. Yes. Yes. And I'll just share that was so much what I was feeling as I was receiving the light language was the power of us as women sharing our voices. So thank you for what you're doing.